Mackenzie and welcome to FIFA 18! We are finally here and we're back again showing you guys how to become absolute billionaires in FIFA 18 now as it was achievable in FIFA 17 and 16 and probably all of them beforehand. So we're going to show you a very easy, simple trick, a little, people call it a cheat, maybe a little glitch. We're taking advantage of the system basically. If you haven't seen my video for FIFA 17, you can go check it out, there'll be a link in the description. If I don't manage to describe or make you understand understand well enough this technique on in this video check out that video or hit me up with a comment below or hit me on Twitter Instagram snapchat check them all out links are all below and check out everything now this cheat is incredible it's gonna make you go from starting your second season because it is a second season cheat it will go from giving you maybe with a really rich club about 200 million and like 500,000 wage which is really amazing instead of that you'll have about a billion, maybe two billion transfer budget and about 20 million wage. You will be able to afford Messi, Ronaldo, Bale, Neymar, Mbappe, Lukaku, De Gea, all in the same season and still have enough to buy more players. That's how incredible this cheat is, so get with it. Alright, so for the cheat, I'm going to be using Manchester United. You can use anyone you like. As I say in the last video, you can use the biggest clubs, Barcelona, Madrid, United, or you can use the smallest clubs like Accrington and so forth. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're using a club. Now last year I used dollars and the maximum you could do this with on dollars was different to what you could do in any other uh, currency. This year I've tested it thoroughly and I'd say it's all about the same. But if you have any questions, if you have any problems, uh, let me know. Quick tip before attempting this, because a lot of people did it slightly wrong and it messed up their career mode. Sorry for that. What you should do before you start doing this trick, save the game, all right? Save it, so if you mess up, you can go back to where you were. I want to use dollars again, and let's get into the career mode. Okay, so as you see, you are now into the start of your career mode. Because I'm showing you this little cheat thing, I'm just going to skip to the very end of the career mode, or the end of the season, because that's what this trick is. The trick is you skip to the end of the season, then you do it. But if you guys want to play through your career mode, do it. If this is a serious career mode to you, just play through your career mode as you would, and get to the end of the season as comfortably as fast as slow as you like doesn't really matter you have to be at the end of the season you can do this at the beginning of the career mode it's just not gonna work that well so just make sure you're doing this at the end of the season not at the beginning if you have any questions comment down below and I will get to you within a good amount of time so we're seeing the financials here but we look at the budget they have a massive budget 200 million with nearly half a million wage if we just pop this to 200 million nearly a million wage that's incredible no matter what how you're looking at this that's a a lot of money and a little tip here in my last video I did on this I ended up with 30 million wage which you can see here is just not possible as with United I only have four and a half million wage in the other one I did with Chelsea I ended up with 30 million wage at the end of the season with people like how did you have that much money now as the season goes on your wage budget increases just a little tip for you guys within one week it can increase depending how much money you have by a few tens hundreds of thousands quite seriously very strange but a good tip but I'm gonna go straight to the end of the season now you guys can skip to the end you guys can play to the end it's your decision let's go three two one snap all right so I've skipped forward to the end of the season and as you can see our finances are looking pretty decent just by not buying or even selling anyone I've still made a very decent profit in the club of 184 million so we look at our budget and we're sitting at relatively the same transfer budget but our wage has gone up by 10 million mm, small gap and I want to show you why I just talked about in um, about 30 seconds ago I'm gonna skip forward now to the 28th so two weeks ahead I'm gonna see our wage budget skyrocket wage budget 21 million I don't know why it happens that quick and that small of a gap but I always end up with around 10 million at the end of the season and then within two weeks I have 20 million but now you can see we're sitting at around 240 million and 21 million wage budget we can adjust that and we'll have full wage quarter of a billion that's pretty decent I must admit but now we're gonna get into the cheat that there was not the cheat that's not the cheat that's that's not how you get a lot of money because if you play career mode you know very well you could end the career mode with that much money quarter of a billion transfer budget 20 million wage budget you get into the next season and you have half a million wage budget quarter of a billion transfer budget and you're like wait where the where the hell did all that money go and um well it just disappears it happens every time i've tested it a few times fever 18 still happens so this cheat will allow you to keep that 260 
60 million. There have been changes to FIFA 18 career mode this year that are different to FIFA 17, but they do not affect this. In fact, they actually make this work a lot better, a lot smoother, and a lot quicker, and a lot more fun. But the thing is, that is a ton more money than I ever had in my other career modes. Go to your squad hub. You can do this with any team, any rich team, any poor team, any good team, any bad team. Doesn't matter. The way I'm going to look at it though is their worst players in the team. This guy probably is never going to play for Manchester United. Probably not in real life, probably not in the game. He's 21, 64 overall. Yes, he grew three overall. Not really going to be a Premier League player, is he? So regardless of how you want to play the game, you're probably going to sell this guy. You're probably going to sell majority of the youth players. But I'm going to show you guys how to utilize your useless waste of youth players. And you can do this with any player in the game it's probably just best to do it with these kind of players and let me reiterate at the end of the season do this at the end of the season go into contract negotiations now they've added all this cutscenes and that doesn't ruin it in fact this only makes it better if you want to go check out the previous video that i did where i explained it probably a little different and you might understand it there go check it out so of course you got all the negotiations squad role that's irrelevant just just make them accept so make them happy yeah we want four years yeah we want a squad role of prospect we don't want to release calls cool don't give them a release clause. Just make them happy until it gets to the wage. Doesn't matter about the signing bonus. In previous FIFAs, you had to make sure you had a transfer budget to affiliate for that signing bonus. Now, you don't need it because if you don't have the signing bonus in your transfer budget, it just takes it away from your wage budget. So let's go to counter offer. Now, this is the part that is critical. You need to offer them a large sum. See, you've got 259 million wage budget remaining. You want to basically get all that gone or a large sum. You're not going to be able to use all 259 million. Usually, you will not have have that much money in a normal career mode you would not have that much money at the end of the season like i do and especially with a lower team now in last fifa the max you could offer in dollars was one million dollars you could offer the player one million in wage and they'd accept it and this cheat would work but with pounds or sterling or whatever you could only offer a maximum of 800 and ninety thousand pounds or sterling or whatever and it would still work in the same way what i've discovered in this fifa is you can not only offer one million and they'll accept it and it will work not just two or three or four or even five okay it may go higher than this i'm not going to test the waters too much but i've set the boundary at 10 million 10 million's worth so far for me so what i'm going to do now is offer him 10 million you see our wage budgets dropped by 10 million that makes sense we're going to advance submit offer and our person's going to go well we don't want it to store would that be enough money and then he goes it's not quite what my client wanted we didn't quite want 10 million a week but we'll, we'll, we'll take it so he's accepted and within like that you go to financial now redmond's now sitting on a wage of 10 million so all you need to do is offer a few of your players that you're going to sell anyway contracts with a lot of money 10 million dollars hold out save it before you try this it may not accept 10 million sterling or whatever because i did try it with 100 million just i was like jesus christ let's just see if this works it didn't work so 100 million does not work it just completely broke the game 10 million from what i've experienced works okay so i've just offered a ton of people heaps of offers they've all accepted is we're going to go into squad hub now and we have five players signed to 10 million then we got 5 million 4 million 3 million 2 million 1 million the next step is to get into the next season now let me reiterate again you can do this with any small team and you're using crew alexandra you've only got 200 000 wage at the end of it that's all you've got offer one play you want to sell just offer that one player 200,000 in their way. That will work. It's not going to give you as much, anywhere near as much money as what this is going to give you, but it will give you a boost. All we're doing is transferring money. And the money we're transferring is just usually money that EA will then just delete off the complete database of your save file. Okay, so we're into the second season now. We're going to transfer this all across, and this is relatively what we end up with, about 100 million. We have less than what we actually started the game with. And if we go and have a look at our squad hub, still have all these players sitting with 10 million. In the last FIFA, if you offered anything over million it dropped to like 20 grand now you can offer 10 million and this still works now you can do this to sign whatever player you want like say you want neymar you can use this technique but i'm going to just suggest that you do something like this say i'm using united i'm going to go to england i'm going to go to league two and i'm just going to add a whole heap as many as i can possibly add to my transfer hub because what we're about to do is we're about to do trade offers because now we've got a player on 10 million wage we can't sell him right we can try all we like he won't be sold so we're gonna need to trade them off we go player swap go find one of our players so i put joe riley in gonna put him in usually they're gonna say no but we do want this position if you've only offered 
one player all that money, that's going to suck. You're going to need to constantly keep searching to try and buy a player who will then go, oh no, yeah, we, we want your center back. Okay, so say I'm trying to exchange Wiley. He's the only player I've given any money to. Yo, I'll give you Joe Riley. And they're like, oh, nah, we want a left back. Well, then you obviously can't transfer Joe Riley. So you're going to go out of it, going to go into another player, and you're going to just keep the cycle going until someone wants a right back. So they want a center back. And luckily, I gave him lots of money. So now I'm going to try to transfer him off. But he might be a little bit too high of an overall for this rando. Yeah. And this is the only bit that's frustrating. With the new with the new um, features in FIFA 18, this is the part that makes it very hard. So you just keep trying. See, now they want a right back. So what do we do? Offer other player, Joe Riley. He's someone I gave a contract to. So now I'm going to say, do you want Joe Riley? And he's going to say, that is amazing. Yes, of course, we'll take Riley. Now you're going to sign this guy. So what you're going to do is sign him. Accept that. Now we're going to go across to our wage. Bam. 1 million wage. All right. So as you can see, I'm now doing my second player. This one, 10 million wage. And you can see our wage budget has now gone up to 11 million. I'm trying to offer 50 overall players. I'm trying to trade them with 70 overall players. It's not going to work. So if I give a contract to someone who's 70 overall, I need to be trying to trade them with someone who's relative to that overall as well. Because this guy's low overall. I can only offer Joel Pereira. He's got a contract on him, but then just not going to accept it because he's too good. But if I offer them this guy here, Dean Henderson, they will probably accept it because he's their level. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And as we can see, just from four transfers, well, actually six, my budget is now sitting like that, which means I can put it all the way to over $1 billion and still have 14 million transfer wage budget remaining. I can get nearly 2 billion transfer budget. I can get 35 million wage wage budget. I've got so many more I could transfer off. If I wanted to just put in 10 minutes of my time, I could maybe get 5 billion. And that is the cheat. Pretty spectacular, right? We are never going to spend 7.5 million wage. You could make the best team ever. And that, my friends, is the cheat. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my career modes that I'm running. i got a whole heap of career modes going, so go check them out. Give them some love and advice. If you have any tips on this cheat, or if you have any queries any questions for how it works then comment down below if I haven't made sense at some point let me know and I'll be sure to get on to making sense I'll reply to all the comments down below so if you have a question don't be scared to ask and don't be scared to read the comments either and if you're still a bit confused I have another video where I've explained it I'll link that in the description it'll be in the cards it'll be at the end of the video go check that all out there if you'd love to subscribe that would make me very happy and just remember guys it's just a little cheat just a little bit of fun I thought I'd let you guys have a look at it you loved it last Last year you're probably gonna love it this year so i may as well just let the ones who don't know know if you want to give this a share lad you're an absolute lad a massive question that was always asked was can this be done with a low league team the answer is yes but like i said you're not going to be able to get one billion dollars but that's okay if you've only got a hundred thousand wage if that's all you can offer just offer it use it that's an extra hundred grand at the start of your next season if anything went wrong let me know down below if you have any other suggestions on what videos i can make how i can improve my videos let me know Know with a comment down below hit me up on the social medias hope you guys do enjoy using this cheat if you use it show me the like button thank you so much for watching and i will see you later